these kids cannot have a wonderful smile their self esteem also is very low as well as the family faces social stigma we at trinity care foundation intend to transform the lives of children with microtia as well as tmj anklos because appearance matters a lot we are also focusing mainly on girl children because appearance has a lasting effect on their future cleft lip and palate is a birth defect so it's considered as a developmental disorder so when the baby is born there is a split in the lip running across the alveolus in the roof of the mouth and splitting the soft palate into two this causes various challenges to the children The reasons for cleft lip and palate is not clearly understood. Most common cause in our country is conscientious marriage. The other causes are alcohol abuse, drug abuse, uh, nutritional factors, uh, vitamin deficiencies. These are some of the other um, factors which are being indicated to develop cleft lip and palate. The incidence in our country is about one in eight hundred. It's a very common problem, so even though we don't see them very uh, often in the in the common society. But one in eight hundred is a big number. We are associated with a foundation called Trinity Foundation. We've been carrying out the operations of children born with facial deformities for the past twenty years, which does uh, camps in the rural areas around Bangalore. as far as the north karnataka and picks up children who are born to economically weak section so they bring them to our hospital and we take care of them here absolutely free and we've done more than 8000 surgeries in this hospital first thing we come across is when they are born the disappointment on the face of the parents and their immediate relatives so we generally sit and counsel them and show them some of the photographs where we have corrected on how they look and then we take it up from there so these children go on to have about four or five surgeries in their life the first surgery would be done when they are 3 months old to correct the cleft lip it's also called as a hair lip which is a common terminology used and then once we correct the lip later on they come back to us in about 18 months to correct the roof of the mouth which is wide open making one passage from the oral cavity to the nasal cavity the problem is whenever the baby drinks or eats the food comes out from the nose so what we do when the baby is 18 years old is we reconstruct this barrier we close the mouth and nose and we make it into a separate compartments so the nose is purely for breathing the mouth is purely for you know having food and speech by doing the surgery we also improve the speech of the baby so otherwise the speech of the baby would be highly nasal so it, it's very difficult for somebody to understand later on as the child grows into 6 years we do something called as a bone grafting where we take a piece of bone from his hip and we put it in between the two segments in the mouth to make it a complete arch so thereby all his teeth erect properly After that, the patient undergoes orthodontic treatment, regular follow-ups, speech therapy if it's necessary, and then when the child is almost completing his growth, we reassess his bone growth, and if it's necessary, we do a bony surgeries to bring the jaws forward or take them backward to bring a proportion in his face, and we also carry out nasal surgeries to refine his appearance of the nose. So this. is a complete four to five surgeries carried over a period of from birth to about 15 16 years so the child is continuously under our care and we keep monitoring so i hope you all support this program for us thank you our focus areas are school health programs facial deformities and community health outreach programs for corporate social responsibility initiatives corporates can connect with us 
for your CSR initiatives.